All right. Whew. Winning is really hard, so we will uh, celebrate this one uh, tonight here and uh, and move forward. I'm pleased with our guys' um, a defensive approach um, for for most of the night. Uh, was was pleased with that. Um, you know, I give Indiana a lot of credit. I think they, <clears throat> you know, it, it's. You look at them, they played a rivalry game on Sunday, and I think uh, the reality is that's a really tough um, turnaround um, um, from, you know, from one, let's, whatever that is, 36, 40, or whatever that is, it's a quick turnaround. So um, I do think that played in our favor. But having said that, I, uh, I give our guys a lot of credit. We have a lot of respect for this Indiana team, and uh, there are definitely some things we can learn from this that we need to before Sunday's uh, game versus Illinois. I did not like our, our ball handling and passing and decision making at times. And we're playing a team on Sunday that turns you over like no one else in the country. So uh, hopefully we can correct that in the coming days. Yeah. Coach, you put a lot of emphasis after the Penn State game on being more physical and getting off to a better start. And you certainly did both those things tonight. What, what was worked on in practice or what was what allowed you to be able to do those things tonight when you guys have kind of struggled yeah. getting off to a hot start the last couple of games? You know, I think that I think our guys recognize that if we don't, um, you know, it's going to be another long night. I think, you know, you don't necessarily uh, win or lose the game in the first four minutes, but there is a tone that can be set that you hope that uh, your guys recognize is, is really important. And they did, and I was pleased with them. And then Kata had only looked like five of 13 shooting or something, but still was able to affect the game in so many ways, had 13 rebounds, five assists, yeah. <laughs> something like that. I mean, what does it say to have a guy like that that, you know, I think you said earlier on in the season that you fear the day that he wasn't giving you, you know, the scoring that he usually gives, but, you know, just to be able to make that kind of an impact night in and night out. Yeah, he, on he, that shooting he really out. impacts, yeah, he really impacts the game in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways. We know that. You know, people continue to be really physical with him, and he's struggled with that at times. I think he's. I think people are being extremely physical with him, and he's just got to handle it better. Um, but he still had a major impact on the game uh, with his ability to, uh, as you mentioned, five assists, four blocks, um, 13 rebounds. You know, that's what good players do uh, is they find other ways to impact the game. And and then if I could just follow up really quick, he went to the locker room there in the second half. I think his back there. just tightened up. Yeah, just yeah. tightened his back, just tightened up a little bit. So okay. I think he, I think he'll be fine, but it just tightened up. Okay. You mentioned the start you guys got off to, and Dave Sean had mentioned that you, he mentioned the word hunt. That, you know, we go out and hunt. How much have they talked about that? Because Cam mentioned the other day that the players were talking about getting off to the best. So what does it say about a team that they're bringing up things maybe before you even talk about it? Yeah. Not in the locker room. Well, that's, you know, you, you really want to be a player led team as much as possible, particularly this time of year. I think if you're not, if you're not a player led team, um, you could have issues. Um, listen, it's, you know, at this point in the year, who's going to listen more? Uh, you know, certainly guys are going to listen if I say something, but they're really going to pay attention when JT says it because he's earned the right to, to grab their attention. And so is Kata. Uh, and so of our older guys. So <laughs> as much as possible, we want to be player-led. I think our guys recognize that we did not get off to a great start the other night against Penn State. Give them credit. Penn State came out. And I think that's what we have to expect from here on out. Like, Illinois is going to come at our throats uh, from, from the opening tip. And we just have to be able to uh, come back with a little bit better approach. Your success in the post, how much of that had to do with maybe having fresh legs or obviously they were without their big man Davis, but what 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 more impact? Well I think, you know, they they present some real matchup issues for you. Um, you know, they were really able to spread Purdue out with their mobile bigs. So that was a major concern going into the game. And obviously for us, can we take advantage of, of Caleb's interior size? Um, that sometimes that can be harder to do. I didn't think we we got to put him in better positions on the post trap, and he's got to handle the post trap better. Um, but um, you know, it was important for us to uh, be intentional about looking in the post, and I give his teammates a lot of credit. I give him a lot of credit for sealing.
Chris, were you just a little bit con um, just interested to see how your team is going to respond to, to taking a loss like they did? And, and I mean, facing that kind of adversity, were, was there a little part of you that was just wondering what you were going to see from this team tonight? Sure, for sure. Um, listen, if, if we don't respond the right way, then we got no chance. You know, let's be honest. We were coming off a loss, and um, if you don't come out with a little bit of life to you and spirit to you and competitive juice, then we got a we got a rough stretch ahead of us. So, um, and we don't have very competitive guys, and that's not the case. We do have competitive guys, and they did respond the right way. It doesn't mean you're always going to win, but I thought our response was better. Was that sort of the response that you expected, knowing your team, and at this point of the season, did you think that that was how you might come out? Yeah, I, I do think uh, because of Jay Sean, because of our older guys and the leadership of our older guys. You know, listen, you you don't uh, you don't sleep a whole lot as a coach in January and February. Um, you don't really ever sleep a whole lot uh, in season, for that matter. But uh, um, but when you know when you're worrying as a coach about things like what's our what's our preparation going to be like, what's our response going to be like, um, you keep coming back to. I keep coming back to. Hey, listen, you know, JT's all about winning right now. Kata, Kata is all about winning right now. CJ Jackson is really committed to winning. Andrew Dockage wants nothing more than. Ohio State to win. Cam wait like on down the line. So uh, that's a good thing to relax a, a guy in stressful moments. Going back to <clears throat> Caleb, I think he's in his last 11. Earlier in the season, we saw him <clears throat> turn around shots and times get the strange parts of the backboard. What have you guys done to work with him to, to get these be more efficient? Yeah. Kata? Caleb. Caleb. Um, we have beat the living crap out of him every day in practice. Um, and we've got, a, we've got a manager, I'll give John a lot of credit, we've got a manager who do shooting drills and he just, it's a workout now. I mean, he takes the, uh, the pad and, and wears him out and I, I'm usually the passer and I'm making sure Caleb understands, hey listen, you're posting the score. Um, Use your frame to get deep post position, and I he has made strides in that area, and I've been really pleased with him. Um, uh, it's been really, really good to see him finish a little bit better through contact than maybe what he did four, five, six games ago. You mentioned um, Indiana coming off of a rivalry game. Indiana and Ohio State have a long history against each other. Did you treat this week, this game, as as a rivalry game? Yeah, I just prepared our team, um, really. I, I know that I got asked that yesterday as well. Was it yesterday or whenever? But um, I just focused on preparing our team. You know, I I, uh, I recognize that that's, I, I don't know, maybe people feel that way or don't feel that way. I think as a coach, you're, you know, I, being at Butler, we, had, we certainly had some rivalries, and there is an added um, level of, stuff, intensity, all that stuff to it, emotion. Um, but I, I, we, we just try to prepare our team the best possible, best way possible. Is that more of a year two thing maybe? Well, I, I don't know. I'm just saying I think those things maybe will be formed in the years to come. I, I, or, 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 you know, maybe people have a feeling about this one. Obviously, we certainly have uh, a feeling uh, about a school up north here that a lot of people feel is a very is a rivalry in every sport, but um, I think those things will be formed. I'm just saying, as a coach, um, you know, I don't we we don't you know we don't put a whole lot into uh, we try to prepare our guys the same way for every game. Now they may feel differently, but uh, you know we want to beat these guys as much as we wanted to beat Robert Morris for that matter. So. I'm a long so, Coach, um, you guys have been very locked in for the most part of the playoff defense. Uh, why is that? What have you guys been doing well on that end before? And did you foresee this group being as efficient on that end as, as it turned out? I don't know that I thought we'd have quite the numbers defensively that we had, to be quite honest with you. Um, again, I, I, you know, I, I do think probably Indiana had some tired legs, and I, I, I recognize that. Uh, to, to, I think that's just reality. Um, 
having some tired legs given given what they came off of. But I don't know that I rec I felt like our numbers would be quite what they've been. Um, but been really pleased with it, and you're right, in the last probably month and a half, two months, we've taken major steps forward in our defense. And usually that happens in a team as the year goes on, particularly with the new coaching staff, you, you hope that, that you can continue to get better defensively. I think Indiana, for example, is, is really sound defensively, and, and I'm sure Archie probably feels like they've taken major strides in the last month. And so it's been good to see for us. Chris, a little bit uh, uh, following up on Tony's question about the rivalry. What do you expect Archie to do with that program soon? And do you want it to get back to the kind of rivalry that it, that it used to be and, and has been a lot of times? Um, do I want another team in our league to do really good? <laughs> 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 um, you know, I, I think. Um, I, I don't, I don't, you know, obviously I was in the state for, for a while, so uh, I know that that is a fantastic uh, basketball uh, institution. They are passionate about uh, their, their, their team, and they're, I mean, extremely passionate, as passionate as any, uh, probably any fan base in the country. Um, uh, and I think they have an outstanding coach uh, in Archie. Um, I thought Tom did a fantastic job. Um, uh, but I would expect that uh, I think they can still, you know, make a run here this year, for sure. Um, and I would expect that they'll be very good in the coming years. I, that, that's that would be my anticipation. I think our league's going to be very good in the coming years. You know, I, I really do. But having said that, I couldn't probably give you the most educated opinion because I don't know the, the program, other programs. You know inside and out, but I, it, it's obviously a fantastic basketball institution. Coach, you, you kind of listed off everybody and said they were committed to winning, but it, given the struggles of last year and being a new coach, at what point did you notice that that attitude had become maybe contagious in the locker room? The competitiveness? The commitment to winning. Oh, you know, I, I point back to probably um, some, of the, <laughs> some of the rough patches we had earlier in the year. Um, Coming off of, of Butler and Clemson, I think our guys' response uh, going into our first two Big Ten games, I think Wisconsin, the life that we showed going into Wisconsin uh, on the road, at, at that point, that kind of, you know, I remember saying to somebody on the bench, wow, are we locked in. You know, I think I might have said it to Scooney or one, one of the assistants. Um, I think at that point, you kind of have a sense that, hey, this group is about the right stuff. I don't know that I've ever felt like we were consumed uh, with uh, our own agendas. Um, and I would have addressed that if I would have felt like that. Um, I mean, you have issues here and there, but I think by and large, you guys have been really committed to winning. Chris, uh, you mentioned that at points maybe the ball movement and the, the dribbling could have been a little better. Is, is any of that a byproduct of you had two guys really going down low and maybe things around them can get a little stagnant? and? Do you have to play any differently offensively, but maybe when you're playing through Jay Sean and Caleb as opposed to playing through Kata? A little bit. I think I think what you don't want to be, I think, as a coach, and, and I'm always trying to you want to have some diversity to your offensive attack. Um, I think if it's just pound it, pound it, pound it, any good defensive scheme can can counter with some things. And again, they did a nice job post-trapping it down. So I think there needs to be some balance to our system um, and how we play. Um, and it did get a bit stagnant. I, I just felt like we were we were soft with the ball at times, uh, and um, our passing was not as crisp. Uh, we just were not as sure with the ball as we needed to be. And I'm I'm telling you right now, like if we don't get better with that. Sunday will be a very long day for us. I just I watch these guys every game. Uh, it'll be a long, long night for us. So we've got to get a lot better in that area. The success that you guys had scoring in the paint tonight, do you think that's sustainable against teams that have bigger guys in the post, or there's different things you have to do in that area in order to continue to have that success? Uh, I, you know, I think it's sustainable. I think, um, obviously, if you're playing a team that has elite size, I think, um, you know, you've got to be more physical and more intentional about where you're getting guys' spots. I think we've done a better job 
uh, getting uh, Caleb the ball in, in places where he can turn and finish and go score. And he's done a better job posting deeper. Um, so, uh, you know, I, 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 if, because if we play a team that maybe has greater size, are we going to go away from feeding the post? No, we'll still be really intentional about that. Does that answer your question? The last one, George. Chris, um, having come in late, kind of coming from Butler, have you, in getting kind of a slow start with a lot, with, with a, a lot of change in the team, have you even surprised yourself how well this team has done so far? You know, I've been I've been asked that um, uh, quite a bit um, here in the last you know couple weeks. And you know, my honest answer is 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 sure. I'm um, a little surprised. I think uh, I, you know. I, I, whatever you want to surprised, whatever. I don't think I anticipated. It's it's unrealistic for anybody to anticipate a start in league play like this. Like again, I may never go through the rest of my career and start out ten and one. Certainly hope to, but that's a rarity. But I I choose not to focus a whole lot on that because we have so much left of the season, and we really want to focus on what's right in front of us the task at hand, can we finish this thing well? We have a very difficult closing schedule, very difficult. So right now we just are focusing on getting better, but the honest answer is sure. Okay. Thanks, guys.